Hi, my name is Graydon Blair from Utah Biodiesel Supply, and we're going to begin a new program on our YouTube channel called Biodiesel Updates on a regular basis. In this update, we will talk about new and upcoming news with biodiesel, any exciting new products that we have to offer, and any kind of diesel engine related items or anything that we think is of, of significance to you. So with our first one, let's begin. Our first and foremost important story today <coughs> is the value of waste oil prices. We've noticed a huge increase in the value. Um, there's a newsletter that we often take a look at every week, uh, updated every Friday by the USDA, and it shows that waste vegetable oil prices are somewhere in the neighborhood of 40 cents a pound. That's over three dollars a gallon for what renderers are able to sell their waste vegetable oil for. We believe this is pretty indicative that biodiesel is, is coming back and we also believe it's in, indicative of other countries all over the world importing our waste vegetable oil. You'd be amazed at how much of our waste vegetable oil actually goes overseas and doesn't stay in the United States. Secondly, we've noticed that uh, truck manufacturers are really starting to pick back up on biodiesel. Both Chevy and Ford are now releasing new trucks this year with engines that are B20 compliant. We've heard it on the slide from a couple from GM that their trucks actually can handle B100 without any problem, as long as the fuel is clean, dry, and well reacted. You won't have any problem. We don't see Dodge coming out with anything as of yet. We think something's on the horizon. They've been real quiet. We, we do expect to see something coming because Cummins has always been a big proponent of biodiesel and the, the engines have handled it so well. Mahindra doesn't seem to be bringing up anything. Uh, we still see are sitting in a wait and see type of a game with them. We expect to see something, I don't know, when pigs fly. So don't hold your breath on that one. Jeep has had rumors that they might be putting a diesel engine in one of their vehicles as well and Dodge has been rumored to be looking at a smaller Cummins for their Dodge 1500 vehicle. We're excited about that. That shows great um, great opportunities for biodiesel in smaller vehicles. Personally here at Utah Biodiesel Supply we've been on the hunt for another diesel vehicle. We've been kind of looking at uh, Jeep Liberties, the CRDs, the 05 and 06 models. Uh, haven't found one yet that we like but we're on the hunt and we'll let you, we'll keep you updated. As far as biodiesel is going, the tax credit, which is the dollar per gallon tax credit, has come back in full force and we see um, large amounts of commercial producers getting back into the business. The credit was retroactive, meaning that all these producers that have been producing last year actually are going to get their dollar per gallon credit back. So, had a nice little Christmas bonus this year for them. We also see home brewing picking right back up as the price of diesel fuel is shooting through the air again we predict that we will see many many people get back into the business of making biodiesel themselves. Uh, diesel fuel, at least in Utah, as of uh, today is sitting right about three dollars and twenty nine cents a gallon. Today is February 1st, 2011. Um, again, we'll introduce you to new products over the next few weeks and such and as we do this program, but we just wanted to do a short one to get started. Thanks for watching and if you have uh, anything you'd like to hear about go ahead and email it to us at info at utahbio.com and be sure to visit our website at utahbio.com as well, Utah Bio Diesel Supply. Thanks for watching.